the Lurchberg Summit Tunnel. Trains have been running here for 100 years. The ballasted track constructed in 1970 is at the end of its service life. The maintenance workload is increasing and the ride is gradually becoming less smooth. This is why two lengths of ballast and track 14.5 kilometers in length are to be replaced with a modern slab track. The work will be done alongside heavy traffic on the neighboring track because complete closure of the tunnel is not desired. This means there is no spare track for transportation and logistics. To ensure that work can still progress quickly, Marty transports the construction materials to and from the construction site along the tunnel lining. Four months after the order receipt, using its own specially developed drilling car, Marty installed a transport track on the tunnel lining. The traction current above the track under construction is switched off, but the overhead contact line on the neighboring track has high voltage current. During work on the lining, the neighboring track is therefore shielded by a hydraulic protective shield. The three meter long rock anchors are expanded by injecting high pressure water, which makes them brace themselves inside the borehole, so-called friction bolts. The anchors must be able to bear a maximum load of three tons during operation. Immediately after installation, they're tested at double the maximum load they will bear later. After that, a monorail track is hung on the anchors. The track under construction and the operational track are separated by a fence. At the same time, the track is cut into transportable pieces of 12 meters in length. To remove the track panels, the crane monorail is now used for the first time. The renovation is done in stages. Work begins directly at the new track section that was completed the day before. Each stage is 300 meters long. Half that length is shown here to give a better overview. Just one week is allocated for the complete renovation of each stage. In each stage, 25 track panels are removed. The schedule is tight and the old track must be removed within eight hours. Despite the time constraints, safety is the number one priority on site. The monorail takes about five minutes to traverse the whole 300 meters that makes up a stage. The tunnel is narrow and there is little space for loading the track panels. Thanks to the monorail, the 300 meters of track are still removed on schedule. To remove the track bed, the conveyor belt monorail is used. The cars of the mucking train pass under the no longer needed crane monorail to the conveyor belt. The chef special excavator passes the excavated material through itself and onto the belt. Under the ballast, there is tunnel excavation material that was used during the construction of the tunnel to level the floor. Both ballast and excavated material are removed completely. exposed tunnel floor is elaborately cleaned. At the same time, the height of the new base plate is measured and marked. Then the floor is ready for concreting. During all work in the tunnel, a warning system warns of passing trains. Safety wardens also monitor their colleagues. Despite the time constraints, work is repeatedly interrupted because the excavators must be still when trains pass, and about 220 trains pass the construction site during the removal of the track bed alone. Yet with the conveyor belt and the special excavator, the entire removal process only takes about 24 hours. The excavated material is transported directly from the tunnel to a nearby quarry. The ballast is mixed with excavated material and has lost its sharp edges. It's no longer usable, so it must be either processed or disposed of. On the construction site, the installation of the base plate for the new track now begins, and the concreting train drives into the tunnel. This special train was developed by Marty specifically for this project. It consists of the concreting unit and one of two concrete shuttling trains. The shuttling trains alternate, each bringing 30 cubic meters of fresh concrete into the tunnel. Conveyor belts transport the concrete through the tunnel. Within about 30 minutes, it's transferred to two temporary storage units on the concreting unit. Then the empty shuttling train can leave the tunnel again. 
The concrete flows from the temporary storage under the crane monorail to the conveyor belt monorail and then through the construction site to where it will be used. The train and conveyor belt move in line with the construction progress. Supplying the concrete by conveyor belt without using vehicles allows continuous concreting despite rail traffic on the neighboring track. In each stage, around 300 cubic meters of concrete are poured, vibrated and smoothed. Concrete flow can be controlled from the site where it's used, and the metering flaps on the temporary storage units and the conveyor belt on the concreting train must work in sync with the monorail conveyor belt. Good communication along the entire conveyor belt chain is crucial, and all sections of the concreting train are accessible. All cars that can be accessed are separated from the operational track by a continuous protective wall. The new track panels assembled by Marty are now loaded at the installation site near the tunnel portal. The concrete shuttling train has left the tunnel. It's cleaned and refilled. Meanwhile, the second shuttle train brings new concrete to the construction site, along with the crew of the next shift if necessary. Once the shuttle has docked, the concrete starts flowing again. This concrete supply method, which Marty has optimized to suit the prevailing conditions, allows the entire stage to be concreted in four eight-hour shifts. After that, the conveyor monorail is parked again above the completed section of track. A few hundred meters behind the construction site, there's a supply train during all construction work with stored materials, a toilet, an escape container with oxygen supply, equipment for tunnel ventilation and a complete construction water treatment system. The special car bodies, like the car bodies of all the other special trains, were designed by Marty and manufactured in Marty's own factories in a very short time following the order receipt. In the tunnel, the base plate is finished and the new track panels are being laid. The schedule is tight here too, because the cross ties are to be set in concrete the very next day. The track panels are elevated on adjusting bolts and fixed to the tunnel wall with tension compression supports. Though it looks simple in the animation, it's a little more complex in reality, but it nonetheless works brilliantly, just not quite as fast as shown. This is because the track panels have to be positioned with the monorail to within a few millimeters. Only when the track panels are precisely positioned and screwed together can the monorail be released. While the final track panels are still being laid, the fine adjustment and alignment of the track begins. Modern measuring technology, the special lifting and aligning system, and a lot of experience allow precise adjustment to within fractions of a millimeter. Laying and aligning 300 meters of track takes about 24 hours. Once the track is perfectly aligned, the cross tie blocks are set in concrete. The concreting train has now driven back into the tunnel and the conveyor belt monorail is being prepared. The concreting train docks to the conveyor belt and concrete flows into the installation site again. The whole 300 meters are concreted without interruption. Carefully distributing and smoothing the concrete is a job for experts. It is strenuous manual work that requires full concentration. Once the track panels have been set in concrete, the renovation stage is complete. After every 10 renovation stages, the final 120 meter long rails are installed. The rails, which weigh several tons, are pulled by the moving train and placed next to the cross ties. The installation rails are unscrewed and taken away by another small monorail. Next, the long rails are lifted onto the cross ties and fixed in place. Finally, the entire track is inspected extremely carefully. The holes of the bolts used to elevate the track panels are filled in and smoothed over. Once again, work has to be paused for passing trains but the track is still built on time despite extremely cramped conditions and continuous rail traffic. Both tracks and the Lurchberg Summit Tunnel are expected to be completed by the end of 2022 after only four years of construction. By providing creative, highly efficient construction solutions and the practical means to implement solutions quickly, the Marty Group has made a significant contribution to the success of the project.